And Ellie Webb is back from Ellie Cakes. And well, we have you for two segments today. The first one's about Valentine's Day. Yes. So obviously people go to Ellie Cakes and pick out the perfect, really treat for their loved one, right? Yes. So we could talk about that in a little bit, but we thought, well, let's create something here, give people ideas in case they wanna <laughs> bake together. So what do we have? And you know, that's always my favorite theme because I have a two year old, I like to do things with him. So this is the perfect thing to do with them. So this is grandma's classic fudge. I mean, how much more love can you get than grandma's fudge? but we're gonna put a little twist to it. So this is gonna be a white chocolate sugar cookie fudge. So what we're gonna do is it's gonna take about three cups of white chocolate. I do have a personal preference. I like Ghirardelli chocolate, just better taste-wise, melt-wise, all that kind of stuff. So double boil um, system is always your pot with a glass bowl with some water in it. Um, it helps from the chocolate not getting burnt whatsoever, but melting perfectly. So three cups is about a bag and a half. So we're gonna put that into our bowl. And I like the idea too, it's that indirect heat that you have set up right now that will cook it yeah. perfectly because if it's burnt, kids are not going to eat it. No, not at all. Always and mommy and daddy finish the you know? outside up, yeah. right? Like we got it, we'll take care of this. And so then you're gonna do a can of sweetened condensed milk. Also, we're gonna add in a cup of sugar cookie mix. So, you know, I make everything from scratch, but in something like this, we just wanna use the pre-made. Again, I do have a preference on brands. So I just like Betty Crocker for things. So we're gonna do a cup of that. And we're gonna put a tablespoon of butter, let that double boil for a while. It takes about 20 minutes. So once that gets all smooth and creamy, then we're gonna add some sprinkles and vanilla in it. And then you're gonna let it set and in a pan. I'm also gonna show you a little trick with the pan. So when you have a, a pan with parchment, just pop that right in there, use your hands and go straight to the corners. So then you're gonna pour out your fudge and a little TV magic. We've already let ours set. I'm gonna take it out. So it's nice and firm. It's not gonna have any issues going from the counter. Just pull that parchment down a little bit. Now I'm gonna let you do the honors oh, here. I love sir. it. <laughs> <laughs> so just do a really beautiful drizzle to that. There we go. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, no, you can't okay. have too much when it's white chocolate sugar cookie fudge. I mean, how can you have too much white chocolate? Every ingredient you threw in there, I could just like <laughs> eat just by itself. You know what I mean? So I mean, and that's why all together it's even better. Just want to get this corners so, too. Okay. There you go. So then go ahead and sprinkle all your sprinkles on there as heavy as you'd like. I'm having so much fun doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. So then what you do is let it dry. You're gonna cut it up however you want. You can do little tiny bite-sized pieces. You can do big pieces if you want to get really wild. You can use a cookie cutter like a heart one and really package these up for teachers, for neighbors, and it's the perfect gift for Valentine's Day. This is awesome because it's one of those things that it's different, right? Because, yes. you know, everybody could do cookies. We could buy the cookies that are already kind of prepackaged and yeah. you just cut them up through them and bake them. This is really cool and it wasn't that complicated to do. No. That's what I love about it. It's super easy, super easy to do with kids too. And that's yeah. always my mission is to kind of find things that any age can do. They can stand next to you, they can get into it, they can decorate, they can do all the fun things with it. And then real quick, so obviously Valentine's Day right around the corner. So yes. with Alley Cakes, what can they get there? Like cake pops are awesome. Like what do you recommend? Yeah, obviously you have so. the color theme there for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I have some amazing bundles on alleycakestogo.com. I do a grazing box, which has candy and chocolates and macaroons and cake pops. Um, then I have a cake pop one, I have macaroons, I have oatmeal cream pies, everybody's favorite, but they're all coming in these really adorable heart boxes this year too. That is awesome. And then also yesterday we were talking about Galentine's Day. So yes. obviously one stop shop, you could go <laughs> there thing. as well. And if people want to learn more about it, what's the website? Alleycakestogo.com. So all right. A-L-L-E-Y-C-A-K-E-S. I'm gonna grab one of these Please things do. too. Good. That is awesome. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Super sweet. Thank you. I love it. Like you. Super oh, sweet. Right sweet. now we're going to send it over to Rands. Thank you.